Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and flash Omni-ROM onto your Samsung Galaxy S4. So I'm actually going to have uh, three links in the description below this video, one of which is to the actual Omni-ROM page itself so you can download the uh, ROM. Um, there's a couple of different, or I should say Omni-ROM is available for several different variants of the Samsung Galaxy S4, so just make sure you pick the variant uh, that you actually own. Uh, the next link is going to be to um, Paranoid Android G apps package, so just make sure that you download the 4.4.2 because of course this is based Based off of 4.4.2. Um, and then the next one is, is going to be to the Super SU file. Uh, the reason why you're going to need Super SU is because for whatever reason, uh, the developers over at Omni um, still haven't root injected the ROM itself. So you're going to have to flash, again, I don't know why, I don't understand, uh, but you're going to have to flash Super SU after the fact. So um, once you've downloaded all three files, go ahead and connect your device to your computer and then just push all those three files to either your internal storage or to your uh, um, external SD card. Uh, once you've gone ahead and done that, we need to boot into recovery. So go ahead and power down your device. And I think mine is, yeah, no, mine's awake. So we're gonna go ahead, whoops. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and power our device off. Okay, just like so. And then we're gonna boot into recovery. Um, I'm using TWRP for this particular method. So in order to do that, we're gonna be pressing and holding the volume up, power button, and home button all at the same time. Make sure I'm actually, yeah, I am, okay, good. Sometimes I miss the power button because it's so small. And as soon as we see that blue writing up at the top, it says booting into recovery. It doesn't actually say that, but that's just what it tells me. And we'll wait for that to finish. And there we are at Team Win Recovery Project. Alrighty, so what I always say on my how to install videos um, is before you wipe your device, we wanna go into install either your uh, internal storage or your external storage, you know, your micro SD card, and just double check that the files are in fact there because the last thing you need to do is wipe your device with no ROM to flash afterwards. Now, I'm gonna be using my doodad here, so just bear with me. Of course, uh, you know, most of you guys will be using just your internal storage or your micro SD card. I, in this case, am going to be using my USB OTG because that's how I flash all of my stuff these days. And I'm just gonna be jumping into Galaxy S4 and to ROMs. And of course we have their uh, Omni-ROM 4.4.2. So um, I am going to be selecting, um, now that we know that we have that, I'm gonna be selecting wipe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe across and that'll wipe both, or that'll do a factory data reset. It'll wipe my cache as well as Delvit cache. So we'll just wait for that to complete that operation. Alrighty, that was quick, so let's go ahead and back out of there. Get back to install. Go ahead and locate your Omni-ROM file. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, tap on that. And I'm gonna click on, because this is TWRP, we can actually add more files. So then I'm gonna go to add more, up a level, up a level again, so I can access my G app. So go ahead and locate now your G apps package, the 4.4.2. Okay, and now we're gonna be adding the super user or super SU, so I'm gonna go up a level, and I think I have it in, nope, that's not in there. I think I have it in, bear with me, folks. My mods folder, is it in there? Uh, yep, there it is. So uh, the current version is 1.86, so just go ahead and add that. In that order too, you want the ROM to flash first, then G apps, then super SU. And then we're just gonna go ahead and swipe to flash, and we'll just wait for this process to finish. Alrighty, so now that everything's done flashing, all we really have to do is just click on Reboot System. And then you'll notice that uh, your system will in fact reboot. Um, like I say in every video, just be prepared for an extra long boot. Uh, the first boot on ROM installs always take a while for everything to kind of compile in the background, so just have some patience. And there we are, we have Omni-ROM and its neat little boot animation. And that's it, and then he should start winking at us. Yep, there he goes. Anyways, guys, there you go. By the time this boot animation is done, there'll be the whole setup wizard and all that good stuff. So off to the races you are. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, click that likes button down below. It always goes a long way. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. But that's it. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.